Hello everybody, it's me Heather and today I'm doing a look with the Hip Dot Adams Family collection. So it consists of, well if you get the little collector set here which is very cute, magnetic closure shaped like a tombstone, you do get a pin that says black is such a happy color and it's on Adam Wednesday's, Adam Wednesday's, that was weird, Wednesday Adam's dress. You get three lipsticks and we get the eyeshadow palette. So let's just go right in. I've already done all my face makeup and so we will only be focusing on doing my eye makeup and my lips. So here is the eyeshadow palette. It comes in this little slip cover. It does not have a mirror, which is kind of surprising. I think we all kind of expect our palettes to have mirrors now. Sorry, it says Adam's family right there. And you just open it right up and there's a little dust cover. So let me get that. And I really like the color story. It's very gothy, very Adams Family, very... I think it just fits the theme of the Adams Family. So I am gonna be focusing on the grayscale colors here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna dip into any of these more maroon purple colors. But I'm thinking this, so let's just see what we can get into. Everything that I'm using on my face today, I will list in the description box down below. So if you're curious what anything is that I've used or am using, it will be listed down below. So go ahead and like the video, go ahead and subscribe, leave comments, because I love it when you guys interact with me. And if you click on any of the links down below, that really helps me out. If not, that's fine too. Thanks for just checking out the video. So let's jump right in. So I'm actually going to start with what shade? Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna start with the inner corner of my eye and I'm just gonna take kind of a medium shader brush and I'm gonna take the lightest shade. It's called Bones and it's just that white shimmer shade. Now I have played with this palette when I very first got it a couple of weeks ago and the pigmentation is pretty good. And there will be quite a bit of fallout and I don't mind that because I just usually just go in and clean up. I know clean up is easier if you do your eyes last but I just feel like my looks always come out better yeah, that's exactly what I want. It's just kind of a light frost. It is shimmery, it is sheer, but you can definitely build the color. You can just pack it on. My looks always just turn out best if I do my full makeup and then the eye look. Whenever I do the eye look first, I feel like it just never comes out as well. So I'm just packing that right on the inner corner. And if it gets a little bit on the lower lash line, the inner corner here, that's fine because I'm gonna be placing it there anyways. And I'll just periodically go through with the brush to bl brush off. And honestly, if you really wanted to pack this on more opaque, I think you could probably just go in with your finger. This just has that sheer, really glittery texture. It's almost more of a glitter texture than a shimmer texture. Now I'm gonna go in with the silver shade, Moon, and I'm gonna apply that all over the middle of my lid to the outer edge of my lid. I really like the way these two shades transition into each other. Now I'm taking this matte black shade, Ashes, and I'm just taking a medium blender brush, medium fluff brush, and I'm going to apply this to my crease and blend that out. I'm pretty happy with the blending of this matte black shade Ashes, but I definitely wanna go back in and refresh my glitter shades since they've obviously 
gotten overcome by ashes. So I'm gonna go back in with bones and I'm just gonna refresh in the inner corners here up to about the midway of my eyelid. <laughs> Could not think of the word. Then I'm gonna go back in with this shade Moon and we'll refresh that as well. And then we have more to do, but I like the blending. So I just, this is only just that matte black shade Just started at the crease and I went ahead and blended it upwards towards my brow bone. So I'm gonna refresh the other shades really quick and then we'll continue. Now I'm taking a small detail brush, just a small little packed brush. And I'm going into the shade Cauldron. It's black with glitter, which fits in with the rest of this look. The eyeshadows, these two are very glittery. They're almost not even shimmer shades. They're almost like just glitter shades in eyeshadow form. So to help avoid fallout, you can definitely wet your brush, use a fixing medium on your brush like Fix Plus or Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray or any kind of like setting spray on your brush or even just wetting your brush with like spray water to help prevent that. I'm just not in the habit of doing that, although I probably should be. So I'm just, this has just been the look this month and I'm rocking it as long as I can where I'm just taking dark shades and really just filling up my under eye line. I'm not going for a thin line. I'm not trying to be subtle here. If I wanted to be subtle, I wouldn't have these colors on my eyes. And I'm just bringing that out to connect with my crease shade and just blending that in a little. Yeah. Then I'm taking the shade Cauldron, the black with a little bit of glitter in it. And we're gonna run that right on the outer corner here on my lash line and connect that a little. I'm taking a black eyeliner on my waterline. This is the Natasha Denona Macrotech Eye Crayon in black. To really get the pigmentation and drama that I want in a winged liner, I'm going to use a just a pot liner, a gel liner, cream gel liner. This is the Natasha Denona Work and Set Gel Liner in black. And I'm just using a little pointer brush. Now I'm gonna put on some lashes and mascara. Be right back. There are three lipstick shades in the collection. There is Graves, which is obviously a light gray. There is Cleopatra, which is a great deep brown red. And then there is My Happy Color, which is a matte black. So might sound a little boring, but I'm gonna go with Cleopatra, the brown red. I think that's just gonna work best with this look. So let me take off my lip product and then we'll put on my lipstick. Okay, I've removed my lip balm. So now I'm gonna start off with a lip liner. It's not an exact match for the color, but I just wanna have a nice clean line for when I fill my lips in. So I'm actually using Cherry Lip Pencil from MAC and it's just a pure red. So I experienced quite a bit of fallout during this video, a lot of glitter on my face, but time is of the essence, so I won't be cleaning up too much today. But I will go ahead and finish off with some setting spray. And that always makes all the difference. Put some life back into your skin. And I just have a little mirror here in case you're wondering why I'm looking off to the side. And that completes the look. All right, so 
I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. If I don't see you before then, be safe. I think it's better if you just do treats, avoid all the tricks, but it's up to you. Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, leave comments down below, click on links in my description bar if you want to help me out. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.